Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining us for this video. Today we're going to be looking at our new British made pestle ends. Today we're going to be making a pestle and mortar out of oak. We're going to use the British made pestle end and then we're going to turn a winged mortar out of oak to go with it. Stay tuned to see how we get on. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, that's roughed down. Hopefully, it's not far off 50 mil, which is where I want it to be. I'm now going to turn a small spigot on the end of this, <coughs> which will allow me to turn it round and hold it in my pen jaws. I'm then going to drill a 9 mil hole into the end, which will allow for the hardware to screw in. I'll then take it off, put the mandrel into the headstock and then turn the shape of the pestle. Okay, so now I've got the project mandrel mounted into the lathe. The plan is now is to get this to a finished size of 50 mil, put some shape in to the handle. You can obviously be as creative as you like with that. Part it off if you choose not to use the full length of the blank. And then we're gonna look at sanding and what we're gonna use for finishing. Okay, so we've got the profile how we want it. The next job is to true up the end, just to make sure that that sits nice and flush to our hardware. I'm gonna give it a slight undercut, which will keep that edge nice and crisp. We're gonna part it off and remove the tail stock, and then we're gonna bring it up to a final sand and finish, and finish with chestnut food safe oil. So I've sanded that right up to 600 grit. I'm now just gonna wipe on some chestnut food safe oil. Okay, so there's the finished handle. It's had one coat of oil. So the last thing to do is to assemble the handle and the hardware. So you simply unscrew the mandrel from the handle and screw on the stainless steel hardware. All that's left for me to do now is I'll probably give this another coat of oil and that's ready to make the mortar. So my challenge now is to turn this block into a square edge mortar for my pestle that I made earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I've mounted it on the chuck on the faceplate disc that comes with the chuck. I'm gonna square this edge off nice and carefully. I'm going to put a dovetail chucking point in the bottom and then I'm going to reverse it round and start to cut out my bowl. So wish me luck. Okay, so just a bit of a recap on what I've done. Uh, I turned it round and now I've been turning out the inside of the bowl. The, the reason why I've not shown you is because 
my uh, elbows were getting in the way of the camera, so it was easy just to turn it and then explain what I'd done afterwards. So this still needs a good sand. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull the wings back now so that I'll leave a nice little delicate rim around the outside. We'll see how it turns out. I've got my finished shape that I'm after. Um, the tricky bit is actually sanding up these edges because I value my fingers. So <clears throat> I, uh, I won't be doing that with a lathe spinning. I will sand it up with a lathe spinning for the inside of the bowl and the rim because we know that that's all solid up to there. So I'll be very careful doing the rim, uh, but I don't intend to go any further this way whilst the lathe's spinning. So I'm gonna have to do it by hand. So going to take me some time so um, I'll come back when it's done okay so the inside of the bowl um, I sanded up to 320 grit I then used Yorkshire grit original uh, which is a food safe product anyway um, if you look at the ingredients there's nothing in there that's that's not food safe um, so the last job I'm going to do now is just go over the outside edges with some uh, mineral oil some uh, chestnut food safe and then it's done. So there we are, one finished project. An oak, pestle and mortar. The pestle's using the British made stainless pestle ends that we've just introduced to the website. It's got a real quality weight to it, a real solid. The mortar is made from oak again, winged. First time I've ever done a wing bowl, so I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. The only things I'd do differently I would like to buy a power sander, sort of a two inch disc power sander, just so I can sand these edges up that little bit quicker and that little bit easier to be honest, because doing these by hand, however hard you try, um, after you put a finish on it, I have found a few bits that I'd like to, to, to redo. But other than that, really happy with the kit and really happy with the project. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the project, please give us a thumbs up. If you're interested in the stuff we do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram and Facebook. From time to time we're running competitions on Instagram and Facebook, so they're really worth checking out our pages. Again, thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.